Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. Now, uh, let's try to understand something about matter, right? So this section is going to be introduction uh, to matter and its types, the different types of aspects which uh, in which we are going to deal with, right? So let's talk about matter. This is something which you have been learning from from a very long time, ever since like science was introduced in your core curriculum, okay? So what exactly is matter? Matter is anything that occupies space, and has some mass and obviously it has some resistance involved in it right so space mass and some sort of resistance and you know about this in detail okay so now what exactly uh, we are going to deal with right so matter it has different states right three principal states there are other as well so the three principal states which we normally deal with is uh, solid liquid and gas right so out of and you have the fourth as well like plasma and all so that they are the things which you don't deal much in your chemistry part or in your day to day life as well right so matter is has three states three principal states so you have solid you have liquid and then you have gas right solids they have definite shape definite volume and liquids they don't have definite shape they should they take the shape of the container in which they are placed they have definite volume as well in the gas it's completely different so gas molecules are spread here and there so i would say that if they are placed in a cylinder they would occupy the cylinder but they don't have definite shape like volume could be calculated by different measurements indirectly okay so uh, this was about the classification of matter right uh, so different states of matter so if you talk about uh, substances or matter at its macroscopic level so they are classified so I would say substances or matter is classified into two types so the first point of classification is pure substances and then uh, you don't have impure as well okay so the things that should come to your mind it's definitely not impure right so they are called as mixtures so pure substances, uh, what exactly do you mean by pure substance? When you say something is very, very pure, that means it does not contain any external substance which is not needed or an impurity, right? So when you're talking about pure substance, I would simply say that it contains only one type of substance, right? So pure substances are classified into elements and combination of elements that give you compounds and they are pure okay so they are completely pure now whereas when you talk about mixture what comes to your mind something that has been mixed completely right take a solution right take a solution and um, or not a solution i would say that water right initially take a water and put some sugar in it it becomes a sugar solution in which sugar completely mixes with it right so uh, this is called as homogeneous mixture composition is same throughout when the composition is different throughout uh, it is basically a heterogeneous so mixtures are classified into two types first is homogeneous and next is heterogeneous Okay, so in this case, uh, the composition is uniform. So I would write uniform composition. Here it is non-uniform. And these are the things in which the substances, they generally mix, right? So we never say the term react. So it's basically mixed. Now, when you're talking about water, when you're talking about something, uh, you, are not, you are definitely going to associate that how much is it, right? So for this, we need to understand the concept of a unit, right? So matter, we have already studied that pure substances, mixtures and everything. So now let's try to understand the concept of unit or let's talk about something what you call it as physical quantity. Now, before understanding what exactly do you mean by unit or a physical quantity, uh, let's try to first of all correlate why exactly we are doing, right? So we have, phys we have matter having its own properties. So let's make one more system of classification that is matter, it has physical property and it has chemical properties, right? So 
physical property I would write and chemical property. So what exactly do you mean by physical property? When you talk about physical property, something that comes to your mind is something which you could easily observe that is appearance. For example, color, right? Uh, you could simply, you could just sense it. For example, odor, right? So these are basically observable or noticeable. So I would simply say these are observational or observable and they can be easily measured by keeping the physical state constant. Okay, so by keeping the physical state constant, you could actually be able to observe certain things like color, odor, etc. But let's talk about uh, other quantities like melting point and boiling point. Now just imagine if you have a solid in front of you without doing any, any reaction, without making any sort of change, will you be able to tell me the melting point? No, that's practically not possible. Melting point is the temperature at which a substance converts into liquid state or it could I would simply say the temperature at which the solid just melts right so that means solid changes in its state right so that's what you call it as chemical properties right so these chemical properties they are dependent okay so I would say they are uh, they are dependent on other parameters physical parameters and they involve the change in physical state in fact most of them let's talk about boiling point the temperature at which liquid boils right so that's the basic definition which you might have studied so for that the liquid should be boiled that means liquid should convert into vapor right so these are chemical properties but now when i'm talking about color odor that's perfectly fine but when i'm talking about observable property for example if you have a scale in front of you right that scale is very big but i need to just uh, give an explanation how big that is so if i say it's just six it's just seven that won't make any sense but I need to have something which which would compare it to a standard thing right for example when I say six centimeter or six meter then I just uh, I have two things which uh, which are there in front of me first of all the number six and the unit which will actually tell me how long it is right so the, this is what you have the concept of a physical quantity a physical quantity or a physical unit right so unit is basically something related to measurement it is basically something which is related to a standard through which it is compared right so if you have a standard uh, standard scale which has all the parameters all the uh, calibrations done very well then you could say that uh, this uh, this particular thing is 6 meters or 7 meters or 10 meters that means it would be of a definite length right so these physical quantities these physical quantities or these parameter meters they are measured and represented accurately and properly by what you call it as unit right for example when i talk about length the unit for measurement of length is either meter centimeter inch you could have foot right or some feet and all right so these are like six feet seven feet when i talk about distance it could be miles it could be kilometers it could be something like uh, uh, i mean it could be even more than that right when i talk about time it could be something like seconds minutes it could be something like uh, hours right uh, so if the distance is too much then it could be something like light years right so these are the things for which you uh, that's how you explain the quantity like unit what exactly do you mean by unit it is basically something which is related to measurement of a physical quantity explore more about the topics you love with topper subscribe now and keep learning